What's up everyone, Nick here. I hope you're having a fantastic week. And if you saw my video from last week on my main channel, Nick Simmons, I'll link that channel right here. You saw that I actually went all out in a mile versus some of my subscribers, um, which we have about 315,000 subs on that channel now. If you're one of them, I appreciate you guys. Uh, in that mile, I went all out to just barely get under five minutes. I ran four minutes and 59 seconds, which, Given that my personal best in the mile is three minutes and 56 seconds, you're probably thinking, who cares? Like a lot of kids can run four minutes and 59 seconds or way faster. Well, it's hugely significant to me because it represents my 25th year in a row of running sub five. Now I wanna tell you about that very first sub five minute mile because it set me on a trajectory that would ultimately take me to two Olympic games uh, and make me the person that I am today. When I was 13 years old, I remember PE class vividly. You know, I, I loved PE class. I know a lot of kids hated it. I loved it because I had a lot of pent up energy and I loved getting out and playing games. And I even loved the mile. We only did it once or twice a year and I had 30 classmates and they all hated the mile, but I loved it. I just loved digging deep. And what I really loved is that year after year after year, I seemed to be getting faster. You know, and I wasn't great at a lot of sports, but I was really good at running the mile in PE. And I remember at 13, I cracked the five minute barrier for the first team. I ran four minutes and 55 seconds. Now, having run that, some people in my class looked around and said, wow, you're a pretty good runner. I was actually the fastest kid in my class. And a girl that I had a crush on said, Nick, you're so fast at the mile, you should come run cross country with me. We were in middle school. She was going out for the cross country team. She invited me to come join her for afternoon runs. How could I say no? So that's what started my running career, just chasing after the girl I had a crush on, and she had recognized the talent in me in that first sub five minute mile. I went on to run faster. I actually ran 420 in high school, was my best mile in high school. And then, you know, fast forward a year, 19 years of age, my first year of college, I actually ran a 403. That's what, talk about a jump, 17 seconds from 420 to 403 in one year. And I continued to improve, ultimately peaking the fastest mile I ever ran, true mile, three minutes and 56 seconds at the age of 23 in January of 2007. Now, from that peak, I ended up running even faster. If you convert my 1500 time, I actually have a really good video over on my main channel. If you go to my main channel, Nick Simmons, and you type in uh, mile progression, I go through my mile progression uh, from a teenager all the way through the end of my pro career. And I talk about how I had those big jumps. You know, how, how I went from 420 in high school all the way down to 403. Just one year later, my freshman year of college, I talk about how I made those huge improvements. So check that one out. But the tragic part here is that at a certain point, you hit that peak and you start coming down the back end of that curve. This old bison's on the back end of that curve, but it's okay because I'm finding so much joy in maintaining that fitness. To be a 37 year old who can still go out and crush a sub five minute mile with the kids makes me feel really incredible. And to be able to give back to those kids the knowledge that I picked up over 25 years of running, it, it's really rewarding. And so um, I don't know how much longer I'll be able to continue this streak. If it dies at the age of 37, I'll be kind of sad. So I'm gonna keep training my butt off to continue to push my limits, continue to be that, uh, that kid at heart that can still go out and run a sub five minute mile. But when I ran three, when I ran four minutes and 59 seconds the other day, it really just reminded me how incredible this sport is and how it's a lifetime sport. You know, you kids out there, you, you young adults who are putting in the miles, just remind yourself that this is a lifetime sport and as you invest in yourself today, it's gonna pay your future self dividends. I always, you know, when I, when I struggle with the fact that I'm slowing down as I get older, I love to go to YouTube and watch octogenarians, you know, people who are in their 80s or 90s or even 100 plus years old, still going out and still competing. It's a wonderful sport we're a part of. Now, when you're competing or when you're training, you know where I'm going with this, you're gonna need a good pair of shoes. And I've partnered with Running Warehouse to give away a pair of shoes every single week in 2021. That's right, 52 weeks, 52 opportunities to win a pair of shoes. And today's winner, it's Kaiser.tx. Uh, in his bio here, he says he's a West Coast All-American in the 1500 and the 800, two events that are near and dear to my heart. Kaiser, congratulations, I'll DM you right now. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that a little bit. Make sure you go check out that mile progression on my other channel. See you guys next week.